Well, this is not even close. <laughs> this is literally just what I had at work, what I had randomly in bags, what I had here in and on my vanity. Oh, here's another one, I guess, technically. Uh, uh, yeah, this one too, might as well. So <laughs> this is not even what is uh, in those two towers. I did take all the mishmash from the front, but it's not what's in and on those towers. So I thought I would do some big dramatic pile up, but I literally cannot fit it all. You can't see me right now, but I'm like just smushing my hands over my face in shame and shock and horror. So what I'm going to do is I am going to separate out all of the lip balms and lip glosses and lip oils. Those will be in a different video. And <laughs> then I think I'm going to try to separate liquid lipsticks, whether that's like matte, not that I have a lot of matte liquid lipsticks or, you know, non-matte, and then satin and matte lipsticks. So sort of like that, I guess. Um, and then we'll go through. I will probably swatch a good number of these, but not all of them. We would be here for a million years. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm definitely going to try to be pretty ruthless because clearly I have more than anyone could possibly need. And I know that some of these just need to be thrown away at this point just because of expiration dates. Uh, some I will probably shamefully still keep because I love them, but a lot of this is gonna go. By the way, I will have chapters down below for all the different categories and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the lip gloss balm oil video. All right, we got a lot of work. All right, so I thought it would be good to start off with some of the easy stuff, the stuff that I know that I'm not really getting rid of a lot of. Um, oh, I also wanna say the guys are working outside today and it's just such a casual day for me today. I am literally here drinking some water in my cozies. I've got a cozy perfume on and Jet's just hanging out with me. So if you hear background noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just life uh, and you know, it just is gonna happen. Uh, especially for those of you that wear headphones, I think you pick it up a little bit more, but there's just not a lot I can do about it. So that being said, I wanted to pull out my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks first because I sort of wanna remind myself of the colors that I have so that when I'm going through other things, if you are new to my channel, I absolutely love the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. I think that the tones are beautiful. Lisa does such a great job in picking shades. I love the formulas. The True Velvet formula is pretty much my favorite matte formula out there because I feel like while it is a very matte look, it doesn't make my lips look and feel super chalky. And so I want to have these fresh in my mind as I'm going through other lipsticks to kind of remind myself, okay, I have something in a formula that I know and love that's similar to that. So there's no need for me to keep something else because I know that I would just reach for these over those. So I do have a few formulas here. I do wanna share, um, I obviously have one that's unopened. This is Velvet Muse. Muse? No, it's Velvet Myth. Um, I picked this one up when Lisa was doing her like clearance sale, if you will. So she was getting rid of this shade. And while that looks super, oh my gosh, you can barely even see it. <laughs> I'll swatch it out. Um, while that looks really intimidating, I feel like it's gonna be so beautiful, just worn lightly, almost like as a stain. And for the 30% off that Lisa was offering them, I wanted to get it. I do have this in the lip liner, so I knew that I like the tone of it. So I haven't worn that one yet, but this is gonna be a good one for fall and winter. All right, should I go through and let's just go ahead and heck, we might as well swatch these out and then I can kind of like take a picture so that I have it for my own reference. Okay, so I just kind of did that out of order. Let me do these by color-ish and then we'll go through these. All right, I've zoomed you in a little bit so that we can look at these together. So probably should have put these so that I can read them. Here we have Velvet Carnival. It's that beautiful, cool tone pink. Velvet Myth is the one that I just recently got. Here we have Velvet Duchess. It's a cool toned red. Velvet Ribbon, which is of course a beautiful, like true red red. Then we have Velvet Bloom. That was a uh, limited edition one, although it might still be available. Uh, Velvet Rain is the next one here. These ones, I always, honestly, even when I pull them out, I'm like, I literally do not know. I do not know which one I am looking for because they're somewhat close. So we have Velvet Rain, which is 
a bit warmer in tone and then Velvet Beauty, which is cooler. Then we have Velvet Petal, then Velvet Blush Lightly and Velvet Muse. Then we have Velvet Dragon, which is a newer acquisition for me. I haven't worn it a lot. And then Velvet Cinnabar. So that is all of my true velvets. So I'm gonna snap a picture of these so that I have it as reference. And then I'll show you my insanely saturated and my luxuriously lucent. All right, here we go. These are the insanely saturated. Let me tell you, this is hands down my favorite lipstick formula that I have. I just think it is like one click more satin than the True Velvets. Um, Lisa just doesn't make these in as many shades. I wish that she did. I really do. So here we have Skyscraper Rose, Sunday Matinee, which sadly I haven't even worn yet. This one I need to pull out. Uh, actually, I wanna swatch this next to Velvet Muse because there are some days that I'm like, I want something Velvet Muse-ish, but maybe not so matte. I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't from these swatches, but it's just, it doesn't look sheeny, but compared to the True Velvets, um, it just has a little bit more life to it. And obviously Muse is more um, brown toned. Definitely not a brown tone, cause that's not really my jam, but it's more brown tone than Skyscraper. No, Sunday Matinee. I cannot believe I haven't worn this one. Gonna have to pull that one out. Uh, I love that I'm doing all this decluttering right now before my fall shot my stash. So I'm kind of reminded of some of what I have. Uh, I just did my like liquid eyeshadow cream eyeshadow one and I've already pulled out some things to at least give a go, but also have some fresh in my mind for that fall shot my stash. Anyway, without further ado, my, yeah, I'm gonna say it. This is my favorite lipstick in my collection. Maybe I'll change my mind later on in this video, but this is probably my favorite. And for those of you that know me, you know that this is Strawberry Shock. Absolutely love it. Like, where is she? I was just saying, I mean, this, <laughs> I have a lot of lipsticks as you saw and look, that's all I have of this lipstick left. This one will always be in my collection. Absolutely love it. It's just the most beautiful, like, I don't know. It's a little bit warm. It's like a warm watermelon, red, pink, orange, red, pink, orange. I don't know how to explain that, but we're going to go with that. This is new wave. This is one that I bought thinking, wow, that's going to be super fun to wear. And I just haven't worn it. And right now, um, I would have to do a lot of teeth whitening. You know, right now I have my Invisalign and so I can't really do any of that and uh, I definitely need to. So this one is gonna have to wait for a little while, but it is very pretty. All right, so now let's get out my two luxuriously lucent lipsticks. Now I got a couple of these when Lisa launched this formula and it's pretty, but I just don't find it to be something any better than my other, you know, kind of like sheeny formulas. So what I will say is I think that the undertones of the lip, of these lipsticks are absolutely beautiful. I just don't find the formula to be anything that is like, whoa, have to have it. Uh, and I will say I almost never reach for dance card. So I'm actually thinking of decluttering this one. If I had a friend that wanted this one, I could cut the top off, sanitize it, and you know, pass it along. I just am not wearing it, and I would like someone to get some use out of it before it expires. So I think what I need to do is try to wear it once this week, and if it, if it isn't something that I'm enjoying, I just need to pass it along. The problem is my lips are so pigmented that colors like this that have a little bit, this is probably the better of like these kind of like peachy corally things, but if they have a bit of a white base to them, they make my lips look really weird. I do like Rose Official. It's such an easy grab and go, um, but I need to give this one a go. So this one is going into the maybe getting rid of pile. Who would have ever thought that I'd be getting rid of something? Uh, Lisa Aldridge. I just, it was when these first came out. I love a good peachy moment, but this just wasn't for me. Uh, by the way, I do have some of the Bomb Embrace as well. I am not doing those in this video because I do think that that's more of a tinted lip balm, but while I'm at it, also you will see some of the Velveteen lipsticks coming up later in the liquid lipsticks. So, um, I mean, out of all these, to, to possibly be getting rid of one, I don't think that that's too bad. We're gonna start off with a couple, like I said, that I'm not really getting rid of, and then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. I will also say really quickly, I have been keeping all of my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks in the top drawer of my vanity, just because it's like, oh, I'm gonna grab these. And you know what? I think I'm going to actually move them into the cabinet, partially because I've been keeping these stored 
like this so that I could see them all and that's starting to make me nervous with the bullet like I just don't want it to drop out so I also just want to kind of clear out my top drawer it's sort of become my junk drawer and a grab and go drawer which seems kind of like a ridiculous combo so in the thoughts of future organization I think I'm going to end up putting these in the lipstick tower uh which means I'm gonna have to make a lot of room in that lipstick tower so there's my plan Okay, check this out. <laughs> so I just put these in here and there is room for one more, uh, which would obviously, if I did decide to keep dance card, it could go there, but it also just leaves room for a future purchase. So I thought that was pretty exciting. <sighs> okay, okay. I feel like half of this video is gonna be talking about my Lisa Elders lipsticks. Um, I'm really bummed because uh, the magnets in here, watch this. The magnets in here are like making everything push apart and so that's not gonna work so I guess I'm gonna put them back in this top drawer for now and figure something out I might have to just get like those standing units at some point <laughs> the best laid plans I tell you all right just a few more that I will not be getting rid of my RMS uh, legendary serum lipsticks so I have purchased one of these the rest of these were sent to me by the brand um, they just recently sent me three of their new like more nude collection oh that's not what this is this is something else so we're gonna move that one to the side um, I want to do a little lip swatch video of these nudes but I absolutely love these there's something so nice about this very thin matte formula uh, this one I've actually worn I'll show you this one of the new nudes so this is Jane and you can see these are not like matte matte they do dry down a little bit more than what you see here but this formula is so thin it's so it's just so pretty I love these so much I wear them as like lip stains by just tapping a little bit on the lip you can wear it as full color um, these ones obviously are more saturated in tone and have a lot brighter pigment but I do that a lot I've talked about these a lot so I'm not gonna stick on these so stay tuned for a little lip swatch vid on these uh, and by the way I will have these linked down below in case you do want to check them out because they are really nice all right another formula that I talked about recently are the BK Beauty Luxe lipsticks these are sadly being discontinued breaks my heart I love this formula this is more of like a I would say satin nah, maybe just like cream lipstick formula I really enjoy these I do feel like a couple of my original formula ones are starting to go off just based on the smell which one is this one here uh, this is passion let me give it a sniff yeah they just they smell like old crayons you know what I mean so sadly I'm gonna have to get rid of this one uh inner beauty oh I love this shade too this is so pretty yeah they just have that old crayon smell so I'm gonna get rid of these uh the other shades that I have oh this one is beauty yeah these smell just fine so these were from the more recent launch uh you can tell because of the the colorful bottoms I just recently talked about these in a favorites or so I did just recently talk about these in a favorites video uh I won't stick on them too long but I can show you the shades because right now um they are clearance on the website and then my code keep beauty real would give you an additional I believe it's 15 percent off so from the top we have faith and then we have confidence which is such a pretty red if you like want a red that isn't like red red it is just gorgeous then that, that orange shade is empower love that one I mean like summer fall such a vibe then we have gratitude and then beauty which I absolutely love and then this shade grace is very pretty um, again if you have less pigmented lips you know what honestly uh the only way I'm gonna end up wearing grace is with the lip liner and I just I just don't know that I would do that a lot Okay, this is another one that I need to wear this week to see if I want to keep it or pass it along. So we're going to put this one in the maybe pile. Not because it isn't pretty. It's an absolutely beautiful nude. But again, on my pigmented lips, it just starts to look a little odd. All right, look at me go. I, I am getting rid of a few things that I didn't think I would. Uh, but, you know, or possibly getting rid of, I guess I have to say potentially getting rid of. But anyway, I will have uh, my affiliate link down below. And again, my code actually works on pretty much the entire BK Beauty site. So I'll have that. If you have any questions about any of these, please let me know. You know that I love talking about makeup with all of you. So I'd be glad to help you out. All right. So 
some of these categories I'm gonna really have a hard time like I just don't know where to put some of them but I thought I would pull out all of my like oh that's not what this one is uh like stilo type like pens if you will so this is one of the Maracuja juicy lip plumps uh it's in the box obviously it's in the box it's the shade primrose like I literally I have some other juicy lips items I think I got this on mega sale uh I am just gonna gift this because there is no need for me to be opening up something like I'm, I'm just gonna give that as a gift because I clearly have enough lip products. So let's take a look at these other, uh, let's see, I have the Juicy Lip Plump and then I have one of the Juicy Lipsticks and then this is the, oh, it's another Juicy Lip Plump. So let me see here. I'm not gonna swatch these um, just because that seems like a little extra but we have, I'm pretty sure this is the cherry blossom shade. Where are the, where are the dang, oh my gosh, this one doesn't even have a, I think they used to have the shades on the lids or on the bottom. Yeah, it used to be on the bottom and it's not on this one. So I'm pretty sure this is cherry blossom. I remember this being, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually put this on right now just as something to kind of like hydrate. Cause I'm pretty sure Oh, it's not too bad on me. I had one at one point that was kind of like milky, but this one isn't too bad. Uh, then this one is the shade Cranberry. I'm pretty sure this came in a set. So I will keep all three of these. Um, I guess I could have put this in with like the cream lipsticks, but honestly, like things like this, I do like a formula or a format like this if it's a shade that isn't really tricky to apply because these creamy like twist up products or click up products, they can just be kind of a hot mess if they end up like being more pigmented, but these are fine. Uh, I did pick up two of the fat oil slick clicks. These I think are a dupe for these. And you know what? I like both of these colors. Uh, I do have trending topic, which is actually this really pretty, like almost like that black cherry from Clinique, but it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. It's not like crazy. And then this shade is going viral. I did a video with these, so I'm not going to stick on these, but I'm going to keep these. I don't feel like this is a product that I need to have a lot of. I mean, I have a wide variety right here and I think that that's enough for me, but I did enjoy these. They are they are nice to use. So now these other Stilos. Okay, so this one I'm gonna keep. This is from Kiko Milano and this is from the Wonder Woman collection they did. And this shade is just so pretty. Uh, I'm sure they don't make it anymore. Oh, it just says 03. I'm sure it had a cool name like Athena badass or something like that. So this is definitely more like a lipstick. This reminds me of another shade that I used to have uh, actually, uh, it might be here actually, um, but I do like this formula. So I'm gonna keep this one. I think what I was actually thinking of is Lumiere from ColourPop here. Let's see, this was the Kathleen Lights. Oh, it's actually a little bit more rosy than Lumiere. Uh, I used to wear the bejesus out of this one. I think I went through a full one and bought another one at some point. Uh, I will tell you right now. So I have these lippy sticks in several different formulas and I am honestly probably gonna get rid of all these. They're just, they're really old. <laughs> And I, I just never reach for these. Okay, so I just wanted to swatch out some of these. So I actually have two Lumiere's in here and I have them both open, which I'm an idiot. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna keep the newer Lumiere and I'm going to keep this heart on shade. It says that it's a matte, but it's not really. It's this one here. It is very pretty. And if I want something really, really bright, that might be kind of fun to have. Uh, the rest of these, I'm just gonna get rid of. I have some oldies, but goodies. For those of you that have been around, I have Frida in here. Who was it that talked about this one a lot? I think it might've been a uh, coffee break with Danny. And then I have Aquarius in here, which of course is another color, uh, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. Uh, Frenchie was one, LBB, I think a lot of people had. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of these. I do not need these. I'll keep a couple of these. If I don't reach for these though, in the next few months, I'm probably just gonna toss them out because they just need to go. Okay. These Revlon, they don't make these anymore. These HD, what did they call these? HD, oh my gosh, could the writing be any tire, more tiny? Ultra HD lipsticks. These were just so darn pretty. I'm gonna swatch these out. 
I don't know why I'm taking the time because you can't get these anymore. I just love how easy these are to apply. This one, I was keeping at the salon. I mean, look at that. That is so pretty. They're like sheer, so easy to wear. I think this is probably like the most like usable shade. These are just so pretty. I, I'm having, I was like, you gotta get rid of these, Kelly, but I'm, I'm really having a hard time. I'm really having a hard time with the thought of that. I know that these are old. They still seem okay though. I might just keep these at the salon. You know, sometimes I will get to work and not have something to throw on my lips. These are so easy to use. <sighs> I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take these to work and I can't let them go. I can't let them go. I'm ashamed to say that. Now, that being said, if I come into, when we get like to other products, if I come into other products that I feel like are similar colors and are newer, then I will just, I will just chuck them. But for right now, I just can't do it. So I'm gonna get rid of these and then I'll keep the others. By the way, I will do a tally at the end for those of you that like to know that stuff. I'll give a tally of what I kept, what I tossed and what I'm going to give away. And then like some of the like, as my friend Natalia likes to say, the basket of doom. <laughs> the ones the ones that need to be tried before they possibly make their way out of my collection. All right, so while we're on the topic of getting rid of things that I've had around for too long, let's go through some of these lip pencil type, like lip crayons. Uh, for those of you that watched my project pan, I did just rotate this one in. This is one of the patent lip polish pencils from MAC. Uh, I'm gonna try to use this up this year. This is with the Ellie Goulding collection. This is, again, it's just an easy grab and go. I keep this at the salon. Uh, sometimes I've just chucked it into my purse when I know that I need something. It doesn't last super long, but they're so easy to pop on. So I am going to keep this. Uh, I talked in my last declutter about how much I love these. They should really bring these back. These Just Bitten Kissable Balms. Uh, that's what most of these are. I think I have a Clinique chubby stick in here somewhere. But honestly, I have not really reached for these. And I did pull out, I do love this shade. Uh, I did pull out one to use recently. And honestly, they are so thin and they just don't last on the lips very long. And I just, I just don't find myself reapplying them. And they are really, really old. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I do have a Clinique chubby stick. Uh, I'm also just gonna get rid of this. It's probably about just as old. I think I actually, honestly, I can't remember if I purchased this or not. If I got it in a gift with purchase or if I purchased it. This one, I do very much so remember purchasing this because it was, I needed, it was like on super sale and I needed something to like get me to a certain total. <sighs> you know how that goes. I mean, it's very pretty. I just, I feel like all of these are like so thin, but just don't stay a long time. This is one of the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. This is probably like the newest one in this collection. So maybe I'll keep this one, try it. This is gonna go into that basket of doom pile. Uh, it's not a need by any means, but I should probably just give it a whirl before I let it go. Okay. Oh, this one needs to go. That'll come back in the lips, in the uh, liquid lips. So some of these, now this is, these two are like more like lip crayon type things. I remember buying this for a drugstore video. I mean, that is actually really nice. I, honestly, I could see myself using this more as a lip liner with other lipsticks. So what I will probably do is I'm gonna put this in my shop my stash for the fall and see how I like it. I just wanna give this one a go. So whether it's as a lip liner or as a full lipstick, I think I just wanna like throw that one in my shop my stash. All right, so this one is from House Labs. This is the Le Monster Lip Crayon. Uh, these are so, so matte, so, so matte, kind of drying. What I think I wanna do with this one is keep it almost as like a lip liner or to pair with something and then maybe throw a, gla a gloss on top. I just remember wearing this and feeling like my lips just looked really dry. So I think if I combine it with something, the thing is that pink is so pretty. I should use this. I should use this more. So I just need to use it more as like a lip liner. So I'm gonna actually throw this in with my lip liners. Uh, these Sephora things. So I actually did like these. Uh, this color, I didn't, I didn't really wear this one a lot, this Lucky Charm shade, because again, it's one of those white-based peachy tones. And then this one I did wear a lot. I think this was actually in my bucket at the salon, Cheap Date. I really liked this. These were 
just very easy to whisk on, but I don't think they make them anymore. I got them for clearance for like three bucks a piece, but at this point they're pretty old, so I'm gonna let them go. Uh, any of these bite crayons or the packaging is sticky. I kept keeping these around and not using them. And so at this point, I just need to let go of those. Uh, this is a nude sticks. This is a lip and cheek. I'm gonna get rid of that. Anything that's sharpenable, this is obviously a NARS one. Anything that's sharpenable, I just, I can't be bothered. Now this is a uh, Sangria Slush. And this is, I think like a lip stain. Ooh, that's really pretty. I also, where did I put it? Where did I just put it? I also just found this, uh, this is a little mini. I did separate out some little minis to go through with you, but I just grabbed this one since we're talking about bites. Um, bite beauty. This one is strawberry froze or froze. I think it's hard to see. I mean, honestly, that is, that looks similar to some things that I have in other products like, and the packaging is getting so icky sticky on this. So I'm going to get rid of that one, but I do think I'm going to keep this to try to use this fall again, going into the shop, my stash, I have a feeling. So uh, these are all, these are all going away. I'm going to try out this Neutrogena. Maybe I'll take this one to work. That's probably a good idea. And then these ones, I'm going to give a whirl. I'm not going to put this one in my shop, my stash. This is not going to be for the season, but I'm putting this in my pencils and then we'll try these other two out this season. All right. You might not be able to see all of these, but have no worries. We will be going over all of them. Uh, I'm going to go from like shiny or like balmy ish. I was just going through these and I'm like, you know what? There is like zero reason to go through these in like finishes because I don't really, I have a few matte-ish ones, but I don't really have that many. So we're gonna start down here. This is that tart one that I accidentally found. And you know what? Like I remember liking this, but I feel like this is almost like a little bit of like a nude balmy thing. So um, again, I feel like this very, very thin formula tends to dry out my lips more than it does hydrate. And so I just don't see the need to keep this. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, then we have a couple of the Pat McGrath uh, lip shines, the vinyl lip shines. So I do like these. See now this one, it is a nude, but I, I think it must just be the like texture of it or the transparency. And this one I'm able to wear. This is Nude Venus. This one is Temptress. I, I never... I never wear that one. I should try to pull that one out this fall too. I felt like I had one more, like one of the like shiny-ish ones. Maybe I put that in my lip balms. Uh, okay, so then I have a couple of these Alme Daily Boppers. These are the Butter Kiss. So Shade Smart Butter Kiss. So I have, why do they make these so tiny? Nude Light. <gasps> Uh, okay, these have like a little bit of shimmer in them. Hmm, I don't know, you probably can't see that. I'm gonna zoom you in now that you got to see kind of like the craziness that we're dealing with here. And then this one is very light. Yeah, they both have a little bit of shimmer. I'm gonna have to pull this out of frame so that I can kind of see. You know, that nude one, I have a feeling uh, is not gonna look so cute on me. So I'm gonna get rid of that one and I'm gonna keep this berry one. And then if I find that this uh, like flecky formula drives me nuts, I'll probably just get rid of both of these, but I just have a feeling that this nude one, I'm not gonna love. Uh, these two, I'm not gonna swatch them out, but these butter, Muramuru butter lipsticks, I loved these, but they, these ones smell okay. I had a couple go off though, like really, really quickly. These ones actually smell okay. Mm, I'm gonna actually swipe these out then. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep this one. I was a little worried because the other ones that I had, they started to smell like rancid oil, you know? And I was like, oh, maybe it's the Muramuru butter in there that is making them go off. So this one is Pinkini. I, I really like that color. And then this one is way too pigmented and it's like really kind of liquidy goopy. So like, why would I, why would I wear, oh, you can't even see it. There we go, why would I wear, so this is Pinkini here. This one, that's very pretty. This one's also pretty, but it's so, so slippery and it's it's gonna be a hot mess on the lips. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, let's see, so we're keeping one of those. 
okay, along the lines of that formula is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine. This one is, I think it's shade 124. Wow, that's actually really kind of close to that. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you out again. <laughs> I need a little bit more space. That's, no, it's a little warmer than this one here, but very similar. I do like this formula. I'm gonna keep that one. I think I got that in like a mystery box. Like, I think I went on to, I don't think it was Etsy. Uh, you know, one of those sites. Anyway, I bought like a beauty box. Uh, I have two of these Sephora, Okay, I just sat here for three minutes trying to figure out what these are and it is, it's too, I think they still make these, but man, it is just too, <laughs> it's too uh, small for me to see. So I was, I think when I got this, I was on the hunt for a match for another lipstick and neither of these is the match for that, which is so funny. Um, but these are both very pretty, but I do not reach for them. The nude one, especially, I'm gonna get rid of. That is, I can't even see the shade. Uh, mm, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the nude one and I'll keep the darker one for a while, try it out for this fall, but I just feel like these deeper, really slippy lips, I mean, maybe if I just apply them thinly, I just, I just am always scared that they're gonna like be a hot mess everywhere. Okay, I feel like we're starting to move away from the, uh, the ones, <laughs> that are gonna make a mess everywhere. So these two are from Merit and I really enjoy these. I think they call these the signature lips. So this one must be, I think this one's Baby, is it? Yes, so Baby is for me a very pretty kind of like pinky nude. Yeah, see that one I can actually wear without it looking like icky on the lips. So we're keeping Baby. And then this one is Fashion. I think they're actually discontinuing this one. I thought I saw something where they were getting rid of some of their like berry tone, so that's fashion right there. That one's pretty as well, keeping these. It's just a nice formula. All right, I'm gonna wipe some of these off so that I can keep going without fear of making a mess. As I'm waiting for my arm to dry, I feel like in the uh, in the intro of this video, I said I was gonna be like ruthless. I don't know if I'm being as ruthless as I plan to be, but we still have, we still have a decent bit to go. <laughs> so I have three of the um, Clinique Pop lipsticks. I have Melon Pop, Punch Pop, and Grape Pop. So I do wanna put these on. Melon Pop, again, is one of those shades that it's like, am I really gonna wear that? Probably not. I feel like it's one, I'm gonna put it in my to try it on pile. I know that I really like Punch Pop. This is such a pretty shade. And you know what, I feel like this is similar to something else that I just said that I was going to keep. Was it that Bite Beauty one maybe? Hmm, I should maybe pull that one back out. And then I have Grape Pop. That is such a pretty shade, but it is definitely, it's like low key purple. It is low key purple. And I just don't find myself wearing those a lot. Okay, I am going to keep it for now but I need to use it this fall and see how I feel wearing such a purple lipstick. So I also feel like I have New Wave. Let me actually pull that one out, hold on. Please stand by, New Wave from Lisa Eldridge. Oh no, that's gonna be, it's like more pinky purple. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so this one's like purple purple. You know what, it's not my vibe. It's not my vibe. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm, I am I have not reached for it in quite a while, so I'll keep this one. I'm gonna try this one on, the melon, and we're gonna keep the punch. Okay, so uh, I have two Victoria Beckham Beauty lipsticks. What does she call these? Yep, uh, the posh lipsticks. So I have Alter Ego and Spark. I really need to pull these out more. So Spark is this nice, I mean, it's like a pinky mauvey nude right up my alley. I don't know why I don't reach for these. I just don't think of them, honestly. And then Alter Ego is very pretty. Just a really nice bright pink. Have not been reaching for these enough. And I probably should because I think like 
they're marketed as quote unquote clean beauty, which means they probably don't have a lot of preservatives in them. So I am definitely going to want to reach for these. I should actually keep out spark, uh, or at least remember it for my shot, my stash. Okay. So you know what I want to do is see how that one looks next to baby. I think baby's probably has a bit more pink in it. Uh, just barely. Yeah. A little bit more mauve -y, but not by much. All right, no more mauve nude lipsticks for this girl. So this is a Surratt lipstick. This is Eau Courant. I really like this. Uh, this is kind of like a somewhat shearable formula. I got this in my Lucky Box this year from, or Lucky Bag from Beautylish. So really like that. Okay, this one. <laughs> this, if Strawberry Shock is my number one lipstick, this is definitely... I would say number two, and sadly, you cannot get this anymore. This is Ex-Girlfriend from Urban Decay. This was considered like a sheer shimmer lipstick. Uh, I really need to find a dupe for this one. Like, I mean, I feel like Posh, uh, or the Posh lipstick in, oh my gosh, I've already forgotten it, Spark, is close-ish in color, uh, not quite. Like it just needs to have a little bit. It's so, so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so sheer. I'm sure I can find something, but like this one, you know, I've got a decent bit left, but when I get down to the bottom, I'm going to have to find, I'm going to have to find a dupe for sure. I was so sad when they discontinued these, they like changed the format of the lipsticks. And I wish that I had known that because I would have probably bought a backup like a weirdo because clearly I don't have enough lipstick. <laughs> Anyway, I have these other two, Urban Decay. Uh, I have Streak and Anarchy, and I believe I got these in a sale. I love the, oh my God, have I even worn Anarchy? Maybe once, maybe once, and it's getting those little like weird white flecks on it, mm, on the side. I don't love that so much. Ugh, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna swatch these because I feel like this is kind of similar to some of the vibes of these other ones. And this one is Streak. And I know that I do not need to keep this one. This one looks okay, but again, it's that like very white-based color. I don't know what I was thinking. And again, these are getting pretty old. So we're just gonna get rid of these. Yay, we're getting rid of a couple. This Bite Beauty one I'm getting rid of, the packaging is disgusting. And it is such a purple, purple lipstick. This is the shade 10, 010. Okay, do not need that. Why I ever bought this? It was probably on sale, honestly. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I have this Pat McGrath lipstick. This is Pink Ultraness in the Lux Trance. Oh, this is pretty. Gosh, have I even worn this one? Okay, we're, we're getting a vibe here. So which one was this one? This like more matte. Oh, that's New Wave. Okay, that's New Wave from Lisa Eldridge. Boy, these two are pretty darn close to each other. That was that uh, Clinique color, but this one is a little bit more like matte, but the Clinique one is definitely more like luminous, like shiny, and this one is kind of like a mid-tone. I'm gonna keep this, but see the problem is, is like how the heck do I know what's in here? Like, I don't know what this color is at all. I, that's why I haven't used it. So definitely one to keep in mind. All right, this colored rain, I think I got this in a trend mood box and I never wear it. It is the shade whipped. It is just this like, it's so pretty. It's really pretty, but uh, it's brown. It's quite brown. So, oh man, this is also kind of starting to smell like lipstick, you know, like Mm, like that kind of maybe going off. So I think I'm just gonna toss it. I think it's pretty old. Here I have a Tom Ford lipstick. Uh, I think this one I got a while ago. This is very pretty. It's like a deeper, like, mm, almost like brownish red. What is the shade? Oh my gosh. So this is the uh, matte lip color in velvet cherry. That is really quite pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. I don't have a lot of deeper lips and, and I like the fact that this formula is not gonna slide all over the face. So that one is appreciated. All right, I am going to try to keep this mess on as we get in to some of these other lipsticks just in case there's anything I need to compare to. So I have a few MAC lipsticks here. I have, oh boy, 
back in the day, I used to have quite, quite the collection of lipsticks from MAC. So I have this shade Only You, it's a cream sheen. I really, I really like the cream sheen formula. So I'm gonna keep this one and a couple others that I know I'm gonna keep. This uh, Goddess of the Sea. Oh, this is another purpley one though. I love the formula, or I love the packaging, but it's so close to that one. Eh, we're just gonna get rid of this one. Nope. Ugh. I see, and I know people would go crazy and they would figure out how to like take the bullets out of the packaging and then like put other bullets in. This, it's the packaging that got me. I have gotten rid of pretty much all of these from the See Me, Hear Me collection. I think that's what it was called. This water droplet packaging totally got me. Such a sucker. Mac knew what they were doing. Okay, so this one is Steam Heat from Mac. This is probably my favorite red in my collection. It's so pretty. It's just so pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. Uh, this is one of the Viva Glams. This is Miley Cyrus's Viva Glam. It's a brave color choice, but very pretty. I can totally get down with that. Uh, Pure Heroin, okay, this is like a deep, Plum. No, we do not need that one. I remember getting that one and thinking like, yeah, I'll wear it. No, I will not. Uh, Rebel, this is one of my favorite MAC shades. So pretty. It's like a beautiful, like deep kind of like mulberry shade. Absolutely keeping that one. I do find that for some reason, the MAC lipsticks seem to dry out my lips more, like even the creamy ones, but some of these colors are just so pretty. Uh, Naked Proof is a cream sheen from MAC. Hmm, do I need this one? I think I got this one in a kit. But I think that I have worn this though. Although I just got rid of this one. Okay, I'm looking at this Melon Clinique shade and it's a little bit pinkier. It's probably a little bit more white based too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep this color and I'm just gonna get rid of the Clinique one, because I can just tell that's so much more white based. This one at least has a little bit more of like a nude to it. So I'll keep this, I'll get rid of this one. Boom, there we go. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more ruthless, people. Uh, I have this MAC Rocky Horror Picture Show collab. This is Oblivion. In fact, I feel like this shade wasn't even one of the like, what do I want to call it? Like, I feel like this shade was an already pre-existing shade that they just put into the packaging, but I could be wrong on that. This is a pretty red though. I need to keep a few reds and I like the fact that this is a little bit more of a comfortable creamy shade. I'm gonna keep this one for now. Um, it's just It's just quite pretty and I don't, I have Velvet Ribbon, which is maybe similar to this, but maybe a bit brighter and it's obviously more matte too. So I'm gonna keep these, I feel pretty good. I got two, rid of two of those MAC ones. All right, the Wayne Goss lipsticks. I think I have probably gotten both of these in bags or lucky bags. So we have the shade Carnation. Put that one here. Hopefully you're able to see these swatches. Yeah, okay. And the shade Dahlia. Oh, this Dahlia shade is an unfortunate shade for me. Look, like it's kind of in this realm, but it's more opaque, which means that is not gonna look cute on me. So we're gonna get rid of this one. So this was either like a free gift with purchase type thing, or it came in a lucky bag, because there's no way that I would have picked up that shade, I don't think. But I will keep Carnation. Uh, it is a pretty shade. If I don't reach for it though in the next while, I'll probably get rid of it. The Wayne Goss lipsticks are okay. It's just not a formula that I like absolutely love. Mm, it's starting to smell really kind of lipsticky though. You know what I mean? Mm, okay, I'm gonna put this one to the side. Maybe it'll go into the uh, basket of doom and then we'll try it later. Okay, so this MD Glow, they sent me some things a while ago and this is flagship. I remember it being a very pretty shade, but and I've had this one for quite a while, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one. Uh, we have Joanna from, uh, not Bare Minerals, Ch -ch 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 Jane Iredale. Ooh, that's pretty. See now, the colors like this are definitely up my alley, just sort of that like mauve -y, really pretty, like leaning towards berry. We'll keep her. 
And then we have Scorpio Moon. We have a couple color pop shades here. So Scorpio Moon, this was, I think, a, uh, I think this was one with, oh my gosh. Come on, Kelly, your brain. Kathleen Lights, I love the packaging on this, but the shade, again, it's purpley. I'm just, I'm just not gonna wear it. So we'll get rid of that one. All right, so Mulan, this is Hua Mulan. And again, this is from ColourPop. I don't know what happened to this. The bullet is like, I don't know, kind of funky. So how do I feel about this nude? It's definitely more of a nude that I could probably wear. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll, I mean, the packaging is really pretty and I'll try it on. This would be a good like fall lip shade. Although now I wanna see this Makeup Forever. Is this kind of in a similar realm here? No, this one's more pink. I mean, maybe a lot of people would see those and be like, yeah, they're similar, but they're not. <laughs> this is more pink. Uh, I think that actually, so my friend Liz sent this one to me and I, she also loves the uh, Urban Decay one. And this is ex-girlfriend right here. So I think we were kind of like on the hunt, but this one is definitely more pink than ex-girlfriend. Uh, but it is a pretty, it's a pretty formula, annoying packaging. Like why, why Makeup Forever? Why did we do this? What is the need here? <laughs> Like, do you, can you pop it on here and then just make like a really big ass long lipstick? I guess you can do that. Why would you, that would like, I don't know. <laughs> so weird. I don't know why. All right. But I'm going to keep this one because it's pretty. Okay. So we have this Sephora S Clean lipstick. I got this. I am 90% sure because I was looking to dupe with the ex-girlfriend. So I did already just swatch this. You couldn't see anything that I was doing because, uh... <laughs> I was out of frame and didn't realize it, but um, this is ex-girlfriend and this is this S Clean lipstick and they are pretty close. The funny thing is they don't look similar in the bullet at all. I will say that ex-girlfriend seems to be a bit more luminous, um, but they are pretty close. I also put it up here next to those other nudes. So this is the melon one from Clinique. This is the Mac one, and then there's this one. So you know what? I think I'm gonna actually keep this one around. Um, when I opened it up, I was like, Ugh. but then when I swatched it, I was like, wow, that's actually pretty nice. So this is gonna be a keeper. All right, so I think I got this one because Jeremy's a Gemini. And these were on sale. This is the Gemini Sephora lipstick. Uh, that's pretty. I mean, I would need to use it in the summer. This should have been in my summer shot my stash. What a fail. I'm gonna keep this for now. We'll try it out. Uh, if it gives me that weird, like white crusty thing on my lips, I'm gonna get rid of it, but I just don't see myself wearing it this time of year. Oh my gosh, we are really getting covered here. This one I'm getting rid of. This is one of the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks in the shade Cashew. It was a very pretty shade, but this, this formula is so this I wore as a blush, as a lipstick. It was very pretty, but the packaging is just so icky. And this is very, very old at this point. I have the two shades that What's Up Beauty sent me. Uh, these are very, very pretty. I did have all three, but one of the shades I uh, offered to send to my sister. So here we have Ankh. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room. This is like a warm nude. These are definitely matte, but they are like, I would say a comfortable matte. They're not like super, super dry. And then this one is Seba, Seba. I'm gonna keep these around, try to wear them a bit more. The formula was really nice. And the third one was raw and uh, there's just some significance there for my sister. So I was like, hey, you should have this one because Lord knows clearly I have enough lipstick. All right, moving into the Queen Musia lipsticks. I do really like these. Uh, the packaging, I mean, hello, so cute. All right, let's put this one over here. This is Becky Sharp, very pretty. These again are like, I would say a comfort matte. And this one is Montreux. Both fun. Montreux is this beautiful like toasted peach. And then Becky Sharp is a nice like cool toned nude pink, I would say. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Or not even cool toned. I would say it's honestly more like a neutral tone. All right, wow, we've got a lot going on here. I don't know if I've gotten rid of as many as I thought I would. Um, I am realizing, and I don't know where it is because I just pulled out this Rare Beauty. My Revie, 
uh, Effortless Lips Lipstick in Tulip seems to be gone. I'm totally keeping that one. I think I just posted about it in my favorites video. Uh, it's probably in a pants pocket from when I was on my trip. At least I'm hoping that's where it is. If I lost it, I will absolutely be buying it because that would make me so, so sad. I really do like that one. Um, so hopefully I can find it. Anyway, this Rare Beauty, this is Humble. I, I'm wondering if my friend Natalia sent this to me. Maybe it came in a lip thing for myself, but I am kind of wondering. I think that she sent this one to me. That's very pretty. Uh, this is a nude that I need to pull out this fall. Clearly, clearly I have quite a few nudes here that I need to start actually wearing. All right, the last ones I have here are my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I'm running out of room. We're just gonna start, start swatching here. Oh no, I'm not quite sure when my screen just shut off. Um, I'm swatching my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. So, so far we have Very Victoria, Bitch Perfect, and then my last one must be Pillow Talk. Yeah. I mean, these are some iconic shades. So that's these three right here. The only thing I remember, I got Bitch Perfect because honestly, I thought it was just like, at the time I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. Um, but this is like a white based nude and I just find it to be a little bit fussy. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of that one. This is also the oldest of the three and I'm just never reaching for it. So the other two, I will probably keep these for now. I really need to use all of my makeup a little bit more clearly. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. I'm not sure how I'm feeling. Did I, did I get rid of enough? I'm gonna pull these all back in and we're gonna decide. I'm gonna pull back in everything that I'm keeping as far as like my bullet lipsticks in case I need to cull the herd a little bit more. Okay, here I have all of the tube lipsticks that I'm keeping. I actually, I feel pretty good about this. I mean, obviously, this is not including my BK Beauty and my uh, Lisa Eldridge. I feel fairly good about this. I probably could narrow it down a little bit more, but what I think I need to do is make a point to use each of these and then go from there. You know, like it's hard to just, I don't wanna just cut things out just to cut them out. I really want to use them. And if I'm like, nah, that's not as cute as what I thought, then I will get rid of them that way. And I'll probably just update you in either like a favorites and fails or like an empties, uh, which clearly it wouldn't be an empty. It'd just be something that I'm deciding to get rid of. So I, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. I am fairly happy with this. Uh, I am going to go ahead and put these in. We still have, whew, we still have liquid, liquid lipsticks. So we'll get into that next. All right, here we go. We are getting close to the end, y'all. We are getting close to the end. So these are all of my liquid lips. Now, some of these stay creamy, some of them are matte, some of them are like super, super long wear, and some are not. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So all of these are ColourPop, and I think that these are all satin. There might be a matte one left in here, but I doubt it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all these. And the only thing that breaks my heart about that, I've talked about this shade, this is the Rabbit. It is absolutely beautiful. It is this beautiful fuchsia and it does have the slightest, most faint, um, like ultraviolet. The only thing is I know that this is really old and it sort of has that like weird popcorn salt smell that some of these get after a while and I'm just a little like skeezed out by it. The other thing is I know that I have lipsticks that are similar in color, very similar in color. Maybe they don't have that slight little like blueness to it, uh, but you know what? It, it just is what it is. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I am also right away gonna wipe this off because I have a feeling that this one stains. <laughs> <laughs> yep, sure enough. Okay, so the other thing that I'm gonna get rid of, and this was something that I think I got these on like mega sale. I think I got one and liked it and then just kind of like went a little crazy. But these are these Lip Lure from Pure Cosmetics. Um, they're that like foamy package thing. I do not love that. They're also, I do not know why I did this. Probably the only one that I would keep is like this one that's like a mid-tone mauve. Again, these are a little bit slippery on the lip. Uh, this one is also kind of a warm tone that I don't really need. They're a little slippery on the lip. 
they're a little messy and you cannot get an accurate line with that like flocked tip. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of them. All right, so the two Lisa Eldridge Velveteens that I have, I have Blush and Dragon. This is my least favorite formula from Lisa. Um, I do find these to be a little bit drying. I think for me, they are best worn in just like a light layer. But the one thing that I do want to try to use these for is blushes. Uh, I, you know, I have these, I want to find a way to use them. I have not been using them a lot. I feel like I should pull them out this fall. Uh, I probably should have tried to work with them this summer before my lips got dry, but let's pull these out this fall, work with them a little bit, whether it's to mix with moisturizer as like a long wear blush. I just, the thing is, is I don't find these to last on the lips any longer than my True Velvet. And I think I would just rather reach for those. That being said, it has been a long time since I've used these, so I am gonna keep these. I just need to use them more. A couple more liquid lipsticks that I have are the Dose of Colors one. This shade, Nude Mood, um, is a big no for me. I don't think I ever wore this one that much. It's it's just too, it's like so, so nude. Uh, the other shade that I absolutely loved is this uh, Strawberry Pop. Is that what it was called? Yeah, but this one as well is starting to get that like, and I don't know how to explain it. It's like this popcorn salt smell. Like, <laughs> and I'm just like, Ugh. it could honestly just be something that's in this that is, it's like a normal smell. I'll. I'll put this on here. It's it's pretty, but it's just like a beautiful, like poppy pink red. I have shades, like I feel like Velvet Bloom maybe is one that's similar to this. Uh, and these do get a bit drying. They do dry down on the lips quite a bit, but I did find them to be a little bit drying. I just, I sucked it up for that color, but I just, I just really don't need to and I can get rid of them. They're kind of old. Okay, uh, what else do we have here? These are Sydney Grace Lip Creams. And honestly, y'all, I am gonna get rid of all these. Um, I just, I think these two, I just got in my mystery bags. They are very close to each other. They're kind of warm tone shades. It's not something that I reach for. Uh, I just don't love this formula. It's, and it's a preference thing for me. Again, these are opaque, but they're very creamy. They just, they just kind of like, I don't know, there's just something about it. They last on the lips a long time because they're a bit thicker. Um, it's just not something that I ever reach for. This type of a formula, this opaque glossish lipstick, lip gloss hybrid is not something I wear a lot of. So I am gonna get rid of all of these. Uh, I am also going to get rid of these two Sigma lip creams for the same reason. And actually this one, they just sent me. Uh, this is the Little Mermaid collab one. Again, it's not because they aren't nice. It's just a formula that I don't prefer all that much. I did, let's see, I think they actually sent me both of these. This is the shade Dusty Rose. Maybe if there was a different shade, I would consider keeping this. Um, I should swatch these out next to each other in case, but I just, again, it's this like opaque lip gloss type situation that a lot of times just doesn't really work all that well for me. Um, if you do want to see this one on my lips, I did do a video with the entire Little Mermaid collection and I do have this one on. It's just, it's just not as much of my vibe. Actually, this one I would probably wear more than this one, but anytime that I've worn this one, I've, I've never been like, oh my gosh, I love that. It's comfortable. It wears on the lips for a decent amount of time, uh, but it's just not something that I prefer. And at this point, it needs to be something that I really enjoy wearing. So Again, just preference for me. The formula is nice, but it's not something that I reach for a lot. So I am gonna get rid of those. All right, here I have, I think that these are more like lip stain type things. This Tinted Love from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I picked this up, boom, right away when they came out. And I was like, why, why did I do this? Um, it's fine, but it's so, there's not a lot of tint to this. This at this point is kind of old, so I'm gonna get rid of this, but I, I never really wore it a lot. And it's this sort of like warmish shade. I don't know, it's just not a love for me. This one, I believe I got in um, either like a Yes Style Advent Calendar or something. This is from Merzy, M-E-R-Z-Y. I don't know if this is a lip and cheek or just a lip? 
I don't think that I've worn this one very much and I have no idea. I mean, obviously anything can probably be worn anywhere. That is kind of a pretty cheek color though. I'm gonna let this one sit here. Um, I just recently, y'all, I was going into my Salt New York uh, lip and cheek colors and my tangerine shade had gone off. And so I'm like, oh no, so sad. So I'm looking for something that's like a very tangerine shade that I could wear on my cheeks. So this might be it. Uh, I'm gonna set this one to the side here and see what the formula is like. This other one I have is this Kaja shade. This is one of the cushy vibe lip colors. Hmm, that's, it seems like a nice formula. I don't, I think this actually was in with my salon bucket and I don't think that I've really worn this much. Let me see, how's it smelling? Yeah, it's fine. I just don't know if this is gonna be drying. It feels nice. It feels like a, almost like a, how do I wanna explain this? Like a silicone primer type feel. Ooh, this is pretty. It's not quite as like juicy as Tangerine is from Salt New York, but that one is, um, that one has been discontinued. But hmm, okay, I might put this one in my cheek drawer to try. And this one I might keep to try. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give these a go. But that uh, that Charlotte Tilbury one, it's just basically useless. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, here is something heartbreaking. You can't get these anymore. But I used to rant and rave about the Alva Cream lip colors from Odin's Eye. Here is the thing though. I am gonna get rid of all these, not because I don't like the product, but this packaging, y'all, it sucks. Every, not every shade, but now I think I've had three of them. The doe foot applicator is so flimsy, so that one broke. This one, so can you see this here? It like, it wants to come out. So this is the shade Sweet Tulip. I have it in another one because I loved this so much, but this broke off. So those two shades, did another one of these break off? Yep, this one broke off. And I think this one actually is still together. I mean, this formula is just beautiful. I love the scent of it. It's kind of got like a sweeter, fruity, kind of fruity candy scent. <sighs> but uh, the thing always breaks. And the last time I did it, it broke and it dropped onto my shirt and stained my shirt. So I was just so, pissed off, honestly. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. There's no point in using these if I'm worried about the applicator breaking. And I had gotten the second uh, Sweet Tulip shade thinking, oh, well, when I use one up, I can then use that applicator in the other one. So ridiculous. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. So sad, great product, shitty packaging. I wonder, I saw when um, Angelica did her collab, she had some, lip products come out and I was wondering if the more glossy one was similar to this formula, but I wasn't curious enough to purchase from the brand to try it. Uh, so if you happen to know, let me know. I would love to know, but I clearly do not need anything right now, but did love this formula. It didn't dry down. It just stayed like a nice kind of glossy hybrid. As I'm talking about something like this, the thing that I liked, you know, I don't really love these. The reason I like these is they weren't quite as opaque. They were a little bit more sheer, but just looks so pretty on the lips. Not quite a gloss, not quite a lipstick, but definitely more on the sheerer side, but still closer to a lipstick. Wow, not really making any sense, but in case you were wondering why I like these and not this, there was just something about the opacity level. Okay, uh, here we have the Vinyl Ink product, the Superstay Vinyl Ink product from Maybelline. So these are some of those like glossy long wear shades. I have four of them here. I have talked about these a lot. I will be keeping all of these. They are so nice for long wear lips, especially for a drugstore price. These are great. Um, I feel like I used to have more shades and I think maybe, I think maybe I might've given one to my sister. I cannot remember, but I do really like these. Uh, keeping all of these. So the other products that I have that are similar, uh, I have this House Labs Atomic Shake. The only thing is the last time I went to wear this, it it wasn't great. I don't know if the formula has gone off. I really enjoyed the color, but 
it just, I don't know, it wasn't great on the lips. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this. I did enjoy it. I don't know if it's just gone off, but it was not a great experience. This one I need to pull out and wear again. This is shock value and this is an Urban Decay one. Um, I can't remember what they called these, but this is a very bright pink, you know, that kind of like bright fuchsia -y vibe I seem to have. What did they call these again? Locked lip color, something like that. I don't even know. Uh, I also have a NARS Power Matte lipstick. I feel like these were pretty drying on the lips and it's not something that I've reached for in a long time and it's a fairly dark shade. I'm gonna swatch it just, just to see. Boy, that is so pretty. Oh, uh, that one is quite pretty. Darn it all. I hope that you guys have been able to see. I wasn't even looking up to see if, okay, you know what? I gotta try this one on one more time, but if it's super drying, it's not gonna be something that I will reach for, but gosh, that's really pretty. What shade is this? I don't think they make these anymore. Give it up, maybe they do, but it's my one that I have. All right, fine, I'm gonna give this a try. Gosh darn it. I'll give it a try. It's gonna go in with those others that I need to give a whirl and we'll see. Wow, my hand, <laughs> you guys, my hands and my arm is looking crazy. Uh, the other last two I have here, oh, not my last two. Wow, I've still got quite a few things sitting here, but these flexi sticks from Ofra, very, similar thoughts on them to the lip creams from Sigma. However, Sigma's is a much better formula. These were kind of like mm, a little stickier. I don't know. Yeah, you can see like, it's just like a little stickier, a little thicker. Did not love these, wanted to love these, wanted to love them, but didn't. Uh, and obviously I got these a long time ago because I don't buy from Ofer anymore. So those are gonna go away. Okay, so these are keeps. Those are not, okay, I'm kind of like, I'm losing track here. Oh, we've got a lot of not keeps in this one. This one's feeling good. All right, these are keeps. This is a not keep. Our, our last few. Right now I can tell you that I will absolutely be keeping the Givenchy, I cannot remember what these were called. The Le Rouge Interdit. This is a, uh, actually it's kind of similar to the feel of this but this is more pigmented. It's got this like almost silicone -y vibe. Love this. Uh, they are kind of pricey. I think I got this sent to me from Influencer. I have had another shade in my wish list for a while. I probably won't be getting it anytime soon because clearly I don't need any more lipsticks, but if you were looking for something, it just has this satin feel. It does dry down um, to a flattering matte. But yeah, it has that like almost like silicone feel. This is shade 27. Very pretty. So keeping that one. Uh, we have an Ofra Long Lasting Lipstick. I'm not keeping that. Uh, two of these Buxom Vava Plump products. So we have Come to Dolly. And we have Pin Up Plum. Mm, see, it's a vibe, it's a vibe that I have. I don't know if these are supposed to be long wear or not. I don't think so. I cannot remember though. Wow, that is a banger right there. Hmm. Okay, uh, I clearly need to use these. And again, I'm not gonna get rid of things just to get rid of them. So if I can't remember, I need to use them. So I'm gonna use these a bit. Uh, I've got a lot of lip, I got a lot of lip looks I need to do this fall, it seems. So uh, we have some minis to go through. And then if there's anything else I randomly found, I'll throw it in here. Uh, but other than that, we are coming up to the end. All right, lovelies, I think this is it. So a couple randoms, uh, when I was grabbing my minis, I did find this RMS uh, lipstick in Pretty Vacant. I think I tried this on in a video. This is again, another one of those like peachy kind of like white toned. I'm not super impressed with this. It's it's just not for me. Um, the formula's fine. I think I got this for like under $10 in their clearance and I'm just gonna get rid of this one. I might have a friend that will look nice in this shade. So I'm just gonna pass that one along. I do however have the RMS uh, red shade that I would like to try. This looks like a very nice kind of like, whoa, I tell you what, if that's red, 
Uh, I mean, it's beautiful, but it's definitely more of that like poppy orangey color rather than like a true red. So haven't tried this one on yet. This is gonna be great for fall. So going to enjoy using this one. Uh, we're gonna keep this. So then we have a few of these. I have these little bite minis that I've kept on to. Again, sticky packaging. I am just gonna get rid of them. I have a Marc Jacobs little mini. Mm, it's been a hot minute since Marc Jacobs has been a thing. And this little mini, it looks pretty, but it's very similar to a lot of other shades that I have. So again, I'm just gonna get rid of this one. This rose ink I just got recently in a little duo with the blush. It's pretty, I mean, I can honestly just pop this in my purse. So I will keep that one to try. I love this little one and I wish, it's one of the Volupt Shines, the Rouge Volupt Shines. I cannot tell which shade this one is, but it is this bright ass pink, so pretty. Oh, oh no, it's starting to, oh, it's starting to like soften in here. Oh, you know what? I think I had it in my pocket. Dang it, I think I had it in my pocket and uh, it melted. I, I remember this now. Well, that's really sad. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of this one because um, that's not gonna be a thing unless I like mash it in here. No, nah. man, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. I love this color, but this isn't exactly, like if you put this on with a lip brush at home, it's very quickly going to just like wear off. So sorry, I haven't been super close here. So I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I should probably just get rid of it, right? Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Darn it. Okay, uh, this little Tom Ford one. Haven't even opened it up. I think I got this as a freebie recently. Let's see what shade this is. Oh, look at that. It's probably very similar to the Marc Jacobs one. Is that? literally like almost the same color. That's freaking hilarious. It's very, it's very similar. Uh, I mean, this is new, so I'll keep this one. I mean, this would be totally nice to just like either have in my purse or in my little like emergency makeup bag, something like that. Um, so I will have to get some use out of these. All right, so I think that's it. Now it's time to do a tally. So I will be right back with all the numbers. Whew, that was, that was epic. Okay, so I was just doing doing the notes. Uh, certainly did not plan on this, but I am getting rid of 74, which is insane. It's insane and shameful. Uh, I'm also keeping 74, which is just as uh, insane. Now, I could be off in my math, but I think that that's pretty accurate. Uh, I'm including in the get rid of, I am including any that I am throwing away and any that I am gonna be gifting to other people. Now in the getting rid of, I'm including the ones that I am tossing and the ones that I'm hopefully gonna pass on to other people. Now, I also have the three here that I said that I really wanted to try on to be able to decide. So we have a dance card from Lisa Eldridge. We have that NARS power mat, and then we have the Wayne Goss lipstick. So once I've tried these, you know, that will change things as well. So we have three in our like basket of doom area. I think that that is it. Uh, something could have gotten moved around, but that's relatively, I mean, even if you consider like 5% human error, I basically got rid of half of my lipsticks. Uh, wow, but it was, needed. And sadly, the thing is, is it's a little bit sad because most of those, especially like liquid lipsticks, I can't really give those to anyone because, you know, sanitation purposes. And the lipsticks, honestly, most of the lipsticks that I got rid of were just so old that I would never give them to someone else. So that's just waste, which means don't be like me. And you know, there was a phase in my life where I really, honestly, I was emotionally buying really. I, I really was. Uh, and I'm not doing that anymore or not really trying not to do that, especially with makeup because uh, it goes bad, y'all. It goes bad. So <sighs> learn from me. Um, this is not at all me bragging about my collection. This is just me sharing and hopefully you can learn from some of my mistakes, which is why truly I just haven't really been purchasing a lot of lip products. 
I am lucky enough at this point to be getting sent some, um, but those also, I, some of those things I keep around for swatching comparisons, but most, even if it's something that I was sent, if it's just not something I'm gonna use a lot of, if I can pass it along, I will just pass it along once I've reviewed it unless it's something that I think is gonna stay relevant. Cause otherwise, again, it's just a waste. Now I do wish that I could pass on these lip creams. Uh, like I might see if my mom would want them because each of them has only been used once or twice and maybe she's okay with my germs. But other than that, I can't really give these to anyone, you know? So it's a shame, but I did want to be able to review that formula. So things like that happen. But uh, other than those random rambles, I hope that, this video was helpful, entertaining. Don't forget to give this video a like. And if you do wanna see my lip gloss declutter, which will hopefully be coming soonish, uh, make sure to subscribe. So thank you everyone. Feel free to leave any comments down below. Uh, be considerate and kind to this person who had way too many lip products. All right, I will see you really soon.